branch into our next topic with the idea of binge watching, right? And mm. the thing that comes to my mind, thinking about binge watching and Netflix is like Stranger Things. And mm. the reason why I have Stranger Things and music connected is because obviously it's established in the 80s, mm. but you're basically recycling the music and the pop culture within that and you know bringing it alive again in the series that started in 19 or i'm sorry in 2017 or 16 whatever 16 yeah i mean stranger things started you know it's just like a and even uh uh the boys yeah like they recycle like billy joel and like all these you know hot classic rock uh rock songs well, that's because I mean? ca- that's because the character Huey. right like right, that, right like his character just loves all that stuff and especially in season two they really touch on like billy joel yeah. and all that stuff like that which i love like it's awesome um but yeah the one thing about stranger things is that's that soundtrack just really fits with the aesthetic of the show and i fuck i love that soundtrack the soundtrack for stranger things is fucking awesome mm-hmm. you know what i mean even this like the score itself but it's just awesome. funny too like i'll find myself listening to like 80s pop and stuff just from watching stranger things yeah you know it's kind of funny how it just you know like on your point you're like once you hear like oh shit i want to go listen to more or you hear like oh i think stranger things or yeah, i hear right. i think tenant like you're gonna go and yeah. watch it's just the whole like how many people have listened to the guardians of the galaxy soundtrack yeah, yeah. over and over and over right. again since it's been put That's out great uh, yes yeah yeah i fu- yeah i mean even the second i honestly if i'm gonna be honest the first film had a better soundtrack than the second mm. in my personal opinion really oh my god i don't yeah. know if i agree with that no, I, I agree with that. Right now, dude, awesome mixtape one is way better than the second, and that that's just uh, maybe one's better than the second. Yeah. Oh, okay. You said the second's better than the first. No, no, no. One's better than Didn't the second. Didn't you say the second better? You said the first. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. first. Okay. Oh, I agree. I agree. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. You don't yeah. agree? No, I don't agree. Honestly. Really? I don't agree. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, man. We're 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 not here to. To uh, that point. To that point. TikTok killed the opening song. Oh. TikTok, t- TikTok killed the opening song. TikTok kills a lot of shit. Yeah, it honest. does kill a lot of shit. Song. Yeah, <laughs> it does kill a lot of shit, but it's all part of this new new wave of mainstream media. That's right? true. This is how to do it. Yeah, you look at that and just, I'm sure, again, I don't have TikTok or uh-huh. Freight or anything, but can't you take like little pieces of just mainstream songs? Yeah. And then, you, you know, plug them into your absolutely, video. Absolutely, throw them together. Girls are just shaking their ass to it. Basically. I mean, I mean, any 15 year old kid is going to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I usually just watch TikTok for the funny dogs and cats, but uh, to each his own. We're in his mom's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but honestly, on the topic of uh, binge streaming and, you know, I mean, would you rather binge watch a show or have it on a weekly release schedule? I mean, personally, I'm more on the fence of a weekly release schedule for episodes in, in, a, in a season. Um, just because... There's more anticipation that builds up between each episode, and I also feel like throughout the week, if there's reruns, I'll watch the prior episode again, and I'll retain more of what that show had, um, as opposed to binge streaming. Like I, I think it was the third season of Stranger Things. Me, my brother, my dad hmm. watched all of it in a day, and I honestly can't even tell you what the I don't remember half of it. Right. So I'm and gonna then, have to go back and watch. It and again. then the entire season turns into one just big collage of like one episode in a way, like right. it's just one big story, which is fine. But like you can't differentiate like what episodes this happened or right. And it's eight to nine right. hours worth of content. So how much are you really gonna yeah. retain? Like you're gonna have I'm gonna have to watch it again. But that that's why I kind of like the weekly release schedule. Like the boys <laughs> is doing that for Amazon yeah. Prime. They released the first three. And then uh, for the next five, it's going to be on a weekly basis. And right. I like that plan well, because, well, what were you going to say? Well, Mandalorian did that when they released. Right. The yeah. 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 But I actually, I didn't watch Mandalorian until all the episodes were out. So I binge. Well, yeah, me too. Yeah. Mando, so, yeah. Binge by default. Yeah. Binge yeah. by default. I mean, that show is <laughs> fucking so good. Oh my but, God. um, yeah, I mean, I, I can kind of relate to that where when Breaking Bad, mm. so I, I basically caught up with Breaking Bad before season five started Mm -hmm. um and i just remember binge watching all of it one through four loving it Mm -hmm. fucking it's my favorite show to this day and probably will till the day i die (laughs) and like something absolutely amazing comes out but um yeah i just remember the the difference from like binge watching catching up from season one to four and then like waiting a week exactly what you said Mm -hmm. for each episode because you're you're spending all right so think like i think it was like 12 episodes right or like per season per season say so just say like until, until the last season the last season was like eight and eight. yeah okay so say just like an original series that airs mm-hmm. 
on whatever just re releasing uh, weekly. You have more time to kind of catch up, mm. to rewatch everything. But you're just if it's if it's a ten episode series, you're spending ten weeks yes. with that show, just with yeah. that season, mm -hmm. compared to like exactly what you said. You watch eight episodes or ten episodes within one or two days. Like, yeah, I mean you'll you'll have a great experience with it. Yeah, and um, you know I'm not gonna not watch a show right just because it's released all at once um but no, i just like the anticipation of it and that's like you know when you're waiting for a big blockbuster movie or waiting for an album or something to drop it's just the anticipation is a huge factor into the um the resolution like the the, the yeah. payoff feeling when when you're experiencing that piece of material i love binging i love <laughs> i do binging. too I, i'll yeah. lose my mind for hours <laughs> if it can give me a good show to binge sure i just think especially now that i've i've seen like a decent amount of shows like i'm a much more tv show heavy guy than i am like a movie guy mm. and really because i like to see how things go along a period of time you know a lot of these Netflix shows and these Hulu shows, they're made in, I mean, they're, they're literally made in a month. Yeah. A lot of them are just shot and created and made in a month. Actors are in, out, get their money, and they're, everybody's getting paid. But I feel like their format is too much like, it, like their, their format isn't enough like regular television. Hmm. And people love regular television. Like everybody always shits on Fox shows and, you know, CBS shows, Big Bang Theory. They're like, oh, it's such a cliche. It's such a middle of the country cliche. And like, yeah, it, I mean, it, it kind of is a cliche. But the fact that you sit down and you watch that with your family every single week not only attaches like the physical show that you're mm. watching to it, but it also attaches an emotion to it that you feel. Sure. You know, like personally, one of my favorite shows in the entire world is Entourage. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I feel like it's a show that's like about our friends. Like I just feel like it can be about any friends group or any four yeah. guys that just think that they like, they, they just like love being with each other and love doing crazy shit. Still haven't seen it. It's yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Highly recommend. Yeah, no, I, I've, I've been told multiple times. <laughs> yeah, but like not even just that. The place that I first watched Entourage was at school with my best friends. There you mm -hmm. go. So I'm watching a show about best friends with my best friends, and I'm always going to attribute that time when I'm going back with my friends, hanging out in the apartment, sitting there for yeah. eight hours, right. probably skipping class to watch the next episode, <laughs> right. honestly. You know, I want to see We won't tell Christine, does. don't worry. Yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> she's not in Instagram to begin with. <laughs> but... No, yeah, I can relate to that. You like, know, like, it's... It, like, they... I feel like a mixture of this TV structure where the where, where the most of the country is watching CBS. It's literally the number one most watched news channel, mm. probably for football. But regardless, they're the number one most watched news channel for their shows as well. Right. They suck. <laughs> they suck. It's not Sopranos. It is not Watchmen. Yeah. It is not... Um, what's the other one that's on... Uh, HBO, not Entourage. Westworld. Westworld. It's not Westworld. It's not Game of Thrones. It's just simple sitcoms in little funny situations right. where the comedy is regurgitated. It it's is. it's so overused and it's so like, I don't know. And Netflix goes the same way. They go the same way with their content. It's regurgitated. Mm. It's over and over again. The same situations, the same people. I mean, listen, back in the day, People shit on Disney yeah. because they were just doing nothing but remakes and they were trying to put old shows with a new look, similar content in the same situations. Yeah. And it just wasn't like it just doesn't land with the rest of the people with the rest of the fan base that you have moving along. Right. The thing with Netflix, too, is that, you know, they're opening the platform. I mean, it's the huge it's the huge platform that mm -hmm. all big name people, actors, filmmakers, everybody's going to. Yeah. So they're kind of opening up, again, the platform for artists to go in and be more creative and not feel restricted as to where, you know, Universal or just the the bigger studios will pull them back and kind of have, you know, hands on with the project compared to, like, again, Martin Scorsese with The Irishman. Reason why, reason, reason why he went right to Netflix is because it was a big project, big budget. 
He knew what he wanted. And Netflix is like, fuck yeah, we'll, we'll give Martin Scorsese any money he wants because we know it'll be a huge attraction. It's a blank check for him. Yeah. Exactly. So he knew going into that that he was able to do whatever the hell he wanted. Hmm. You know, made a three and a half hour movie. You know, debatable with people reaction about it, but he did it. And I think just you're seeing more and more people, right. artists going into it.